Meghan Markle wanted more American publications to be involved with the royal family and to be given the same access as the British press which planted one of the first seeds for their eventual departure, a royal expert claimed. Royal editor of Harper's Bazaar US and author of Prince Harry and Meghan biography Finding Freedom, Omid Scobie, suggested the Sussex's desire to leave the royal family could be attributed to their demands of the press. Mr. Scobie believed the royal couple had asked for a review and who was allowed into the royal press pack and said Meghan wanted more U.S. outlets to be involved, considering she is American. But the pair were told the institution could not oblige and if they wanted to decide who they spoke to they would have to fund it themselves and be independent, according to Mr. Scobie. Experts fear Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are going all in with trying to wrestle control of their story. This observation has been revealed by royal author and biographer Tom Bauer. During his interview with Closer magazine, he referenced the couple's poisonous choice. He was also quoted saying, I believe Meghan is a very stubborn person, but I think eventually even she'll realize that this isolated world she and Harry and built for themselves was a poisonous choice. They seem so desperate to control the narrative that they can't risk anyone else influencing it, but this will simply cause more damage to them in the future when their children grow up with no family around them. Speaking on the BBC's podcast Harry, Meghan and the media, Mr. Scobie claimed there were rumblings from the Sussexes over which media platforms had access to them. Mr. Scobie said, the first conversations about wanting financial independence actually were born out of Prince Harry's frustration of having to work alongside the royal press pack. For him, he wanted that distance, for Meghan, she was frustrated that there was never any inclusion when it came to foreign publications, particularly those in the US. She is American. Why can't there be American newspapers or television networks allowed to cover? He added, or have the same level of access as British media organizations. But of course, as they're often told, that's not how things are done. And so when Harry really raised the issue or the question of could we operate away from the press pack and carry out our own engagements with members of the press that we want to work with, the answer that came from the top was, well, if you fund it yourself, you can pay for your own engagement. Mr. Scobie said the conversation planted one of the first seeds for Harry and Meghan to pursue independence. The royal expert then claimed when Harry wanted to speak to other royals about the issue, who had insisted on speaking face to face, he encountered resistance as he was unable to secure time to meet them. Harry and Meghan were eventually allowed to meet with the other royals in January which was when details of their departure from the family began to be leaked. Mr. Scobie claimed the leak meant the story now became out of Prince Harry and Meghan's control and they would struggle to shape it how they deemed fit. On 8 January 2020, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, announced on Instagram their decision to step back as senior members of the British royal family, split their time between the United Kingdom and North America, and become financially independent. This was dubbed Megxit, a term inspired by Brexit, and adopted globally on mainstream and social media, spawning various internet memes and Megxit merchandising. The outcome was described as a hard Megxit. Collins English Dictionary added Megxit to its online edition as a top 10 word of 2020. A 12-month review period was allowed in case the couple changed their minds, however, they did not. On 19 February 2021, Buckingham Palace confirmed that the Duke and Duchess would relinquish their royal patronages, as they were not returning as working members of the royal family. Megxit came to signify the break by the couple from the royal family and its protocol, and their plans for independence under their new brand, then tentatively named Sussex Royal. In November 2021, Harry described Megxit as a misogynistic term aimed at Meghan.
as they're often told, that's not how things are done. And so when Harry really raised the issue or the question of could we operate away from the press pack and carry out our own engagements with members of the press that we want to work with, the answer that came from the top was, well, if you fund it yourself, you can pay for your own engagement. Mr. Scobie said the conversation planted one of the first seeds for Harry and Meghan to pursue independence. The royal expert then claimed when Harry wanted to speak to other royals about the issue, who had insisted on speaking face to face, he encountered resistance as he was unable to secure time to meet them. Harry and Meghan were eventually allowed to meet with the other royals in January which was when details of their departure from the family began to be leaked. Mr. Scobie claimed the leak meant the story now became out of Prince Harry and Meghan's control.